Welcome one and all, Trader's Corner. It's on the 10th of May, and things are breaking loose around here. Stores are open, restaurants tomorrow. Yeehaw! <laughs> I can hardly wait. It's been two months on the patio. The pigeons are getting sick and tired of my ass over here. So, lizards won't even talk to me no more. So, gotta go back to being a real person. Man, maybe we can watch some sports on TV. At least rerun and at least do it at the <clears throat> restaurant, the sports restaurant where they serve beer. Code. Um, and definitely, 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 definitely gonna do that. Okay, Trader's Corner, buy, sell, trade knives. Buy, sell, trade knives. Comment section, comment section. Unless you sent me your request. And one person did. One person did. So I'm going to read them off right freaking now, okay? My buddy Ron Atkinson. There's his email address. I'll put it in the top of the comment section and in the description section as well. But he's got a Kevin John Venom 2. It's not the Venom Attacker, it's the Venom 2. So it goes, I think they, what did they call that? They, uh, they sold it, uh, it was called the Deboia, and Custom Knife Factory called it the Deboia. So you can look it up that way too to see what it looks like, or just message him and he'll send you a picture of it. Okay, S35 VN blade, carbon fiber, textured carbon fiber, full length on one side. Uh, and I think you can put a uh, tritium uh, bar in the pocket clip, if I remember correctly. So there you go, Ron. Got you taken care of. My man in Michigan, where the governor has been extra nice. Just so nice. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I'm not going to repeat what he's told me about how he felt about that. Oh, coming up soon. Soon. Love them knives. These are going to be good. Not misunderstood. They're going to be good. And on the back, it's going to stay, stay stay sharp. But these are not cheap. Uh, my son does promotional stuff as part of his job with the regional office supply. So he's getting these for me. And, uh, hey, they're going to be, you know, stonewashed. They're going to look roughy tufty a little bit. They're going to be gray in the back and green in the front. Uh, but they're going to have metal grommets on the side. It's not going to be like this. It's not going to be a promotional style hat with uh, plastic on the back and that kind of stuff. I like cold steel, but this hat is cheap. Okay, It's not cheap to buy, but it's not a uh, well-made, expensive, higher-end hat. These will be. And uh, so, if you're interested or whatever you think, let me know. But they're coming. I'm going to have a whole whopping like 48 of them. I think they'll disappear pretty quick. Oh, by the way, you want a strop? This is the one I use. This has got the diamond paste on it, although it's got more steel on it. It's got diamond paste. i got to refresh it. But uh, LTK, LTK, rubber feet on both sides. I have maybe another 25 of them, and they come with a microfiber cloth with some alcohol towelettes. Also good for the hands um, and uh, that kind of thing and channel stickers. And hell, I'll throw a koozie in as well with your strop. 48 bucks. I'm paying the shipping. Shipping on the last one I did cost me 10 bucks. So 38. I'm giving you this. I'm giving you channel stickers. I'm giving you wipes. I'm giving you a uh, microfiber cloth. Does it get any better than that? And when they're gone, they're gone. Think about joining my Patreon channel. We have a $2, a $5, and a $10 level. The $2 level, you get a koozie and channel stickers. Okay? The $5 and $10 level, you get exclusive video that I do. I And I'm going to put... I've been putting some video out that the public doesn't see, but the Patreons do if they choose to even watch it. But most of the guys are in it because you know why. The monthly knife sale. 
and my monthly knife sale will be on the 13th of May for the Patreons. It goes two days where they can buy what they want. On the 15th, it goes public. So on the 15th of May at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you will get to buy whatever they don't. Um, so there's almost 30 guys on that. And last, uh, last month, they bought almost 45 knives out of the almost 90 knives I had on the table. This month, I'm not going to have 90 knives on the table. I can't, and it won't hold it in the description section or the comment section. I had all kinds of hell to pay with that last time, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not putting the list of knives at the top of the comment section. I'm going to put it in the description section, the little triangle under the video. Click on that. It opens up description section. It'll have that list in there, okay? That's where I'm going to have the list of knives. It won't be more than 50 knives. If it gets to the point where I have that many knives to sell per month, I'll have more than one knife sale, okay? So that's what the 5 and 10 Patreons get, okay? And I think they're feeling it's well worth it. For some of the knives they bought last month, uh, that the public didn't have an opportunity to buy. I get all kinds and weird stuff coming through. Um, also, the $10 guys are in a monthly drawing. That's their extra perk. They have two extra perks, being $10 members. Number one, monthly drawing. So they get a drawing. This, this month's drawing is a choice between an Olight, brand new in the box, S2R Baton 2. I carry one, that's my EDC. Mine's in green, but otherwise it's the same. Or the Kubi Nova. Okay, titanium, OS 10, uh, I think normal price is $99 on this, seen them on sale for less, but so the Kubi Nova, you get to choose between whoever gets picked. So that's a good deal. And the $10 guys, I haven't put it on the Patreon yet, I will list that later. I will sell two knives for you on my table sale without charging you any fee at all, except, it, well, okay, except for I'm going to pass along the shipping cost. Uh, when I ship it to the buyer, I'm going to pass along the shipping cost, and I will also include $2 for the packaging, the label, the ink, my time, and everything. So you're going to pay actual shipping plus a $2 handling. So that's all you pay me to, sh to uh, sell knives for you, two knife limit per month. But if you got a couple of $300 knives and you don't want to sell them through eBay at $10 fee, so they get 30 bucks, send them to me. Save yourself 30 bucks, okay? That's, that's a plus, right? And if you have two of them, that's $60 you save in one month. You're paying me 10 bucks a month to be a Patreon. So it's starting to work out, isn't it? Um, just think about it. No pressure. No pressure. Um, I want to bring to your attention an article in a blog that came out recently. Laren from Steel Nerds. You might want to look at it. It depends on how real technical you want to get, but they're deep divers. And he got a Catra testing machine. K C A T R A. Catra. Catra is the testing organization that does it for industry and others uh, to have a controlled environment in which they do cut testing through card stock that's impregnated with silica, I think. Uh, and they come up with numbers, okay? So he got one of their machines, refurbed it, and he did some testing on 48 different steels. I'll give you the link to it. You can go and look. It's kind of interesting what the results were, and he'll be doing more in the future, but that wasn't a cheap trick. <laughs> There's a band called that too, but it wasn't inexpensive for him to do. It cost thousands of dollars for the machine, even though it needed some refurb. And then the card stock and all the stuff you go through. So, uh, yeah, uh, and it's it researches 
well worth doing god it's nice that some people are doing testing so we get a little bit more information as consumers oh i'm going to give you a link on spiderco reveal five reveal number five okay Spiderco is now not going to do like an annual reveal because some of those knives are not going to come out for another, you know, 365 days, whatever, the end of the year. But they're going to do it like quarterly, I guess. So I could be a little bit wrong on that, but that's the way it was explained to me. And so there's some knives in that reveal that OLTK would like to have. One of them being the Native Chief in S90V with carbon fiber scales. And also, um, they... Oh, <laughs> this... I definitely got to get this one. Well, I met Michael Janich, right? So he's the guy that came up with this one. But it's not the Yohimbo. Because I was thinking, what are they doing, the Yohimbo? It's already been out. No, it's not the Yohimbo. This is the Yojumbo. Nine and a quarter inches long with a four inch blade. My dream has just come true. Man, I just love that. And then the Shaman in my Carta with z -wear blade. Dang, dang, dang. You know, I mean, and then of course they're going to have some of the knives come out in that Spy 27, which is kind of a, a VG10 on steroids, I guess. So that ought to be interesting. And other knives as well. And you look on, on uh, the Spider Co link that I give you or just go type in Google Spider Co reveal number five and you'll get that but they got all kinds of crazy looking knives and I just think it's really cool so be aware of that I'm I'm falling into the same damn trap um, I'm starting to get all these damn Spider Co knives now I really like them and uh, I'm going to fall down that rabbit hole, unfortunately. Can't get enough of the Shaman, especially when it goes like Orange G10 with uh, Rex 45 or the Micarta. Plus, the Spider Co. In CPM S45VN, this is cool, and I love the green scales. And it's different kind of uh, texturing on that than the standard Spider Co. Para. So I like it. It's got some extra elements in it that make it maybe a bit more wear resistant. And the chromium's up too, so it's going to make it more uh, corrosion resistant as well. So a little bit maybe longer edge retention, but definitely more corrosion resistant. I'm going to be doing a review on this fixed blade knife. John Smith hooked me up with this. He was on the wait list, but he ended up buying one from a guy on Blade Forums. So he didn't think he was going to get called up. And they called him up, uh, you know, emailed him and said, you're on. Uh, which knife do you want? So the Carruthers, and I call it a Field Duty 2. It may be Field Knife 2. It might be FK2. But this is that deep red uh micarta and i think this is the finished micarta not the rough you can have two different finishes on it but this is a more smooth and it's 3v steel comes with a sheath this is handmade i mean this is handmade usa and it fits the hand so beautifully i'll be doing a video on that coming up but Man, that is comfortable, man. That is just so comfortable. Perfect size, too. Really love it. Hey, guys, I got a guy in Hawaii as well. He sent me a few knives. I, I You know, I think he said his wife is getting furloughed because of all this stuff, and he may be as well very soon. So he sent me some knives. I've got three knives left. Uh, and he, it was just a few, but... This is that Les um, George 920. It does, I mean, it does have scratches on the pocket clip. And he wants uh, 150, 140, 150 for it. So if you're interested in this, this is a nice knife. I thought it was kind of a beater, but um, I think it's pretty doggone clean, actually. I was looking for scratches, and I saw some 
on the pocket clip a little bit, but that's it. So 140 bucks, pretty good deal. And then also, this is a beater, okay? <clears throat> this is the Guru by Kaiser, but it's S35VN, and if you want a project knife, this is your project, because yes, it's got scratches, see that? Yes, and the way it was sharpened last time was probably at a four degree angle or something. I don't know what the hell. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's got scratches, beat, this and that, but 45 bucks. 45 bucks, and then you can buff it. You can buff all this out, resharpen it. Have a nice little who gives a crap knife, you know, you could carry and use. And then um, this 450, this is blue. And it's got scratches, and I'll, I'll send you more detailed pictures if you want. He wants uh, $90 for it, okay? So it's his real ZT 450. It's just, it's got a scratch on the blade here or there, and it's got a scratch here and there on, on you know, on the scales. It's just a user beater, okay? It's not a, a safe queen. So that, and then he's got from... Squid Industries, if you want a Bally that's in this PVC clear plastic, a trainer, okay, because you may need the training. Um, so that's 30 bucks, and uh, that includes shipping on all these knives, you know, whatever. So if you're interested, let me know. Love them knives at gmail.com, L U V them knives at gmail.com and yeah they're i just want to get rid of them i've already sold two so i want to get rid of the rest of these and get him the money asap remember 10 percent discount on white mountain knives watch for them soon if you're interested in tucson knives and this is the one i named it's the 204 Bronk, and I named it Bronk. Matt Szymanski and uh, Sean Hassan of Tepe Designs. This is their collaborative knife, and it's a little brute, is what it is. Titanium liners, G10 carbon fiber, S90V. But if you're interested in Tucson knives, but you don't want to bid on them on eBay, you can go to AliExpress. Tucson has a store there, okay? But White Mountain Knives has been carrying Tucson Knives for about a year. Their stock is low. They're waiting for about $20,000 worth of knives to come in. Okay, so you might want to let Justin know what you're looking for so he can hold it for you if you're interested. LTK, 10% discount, you know. So there you go. I mean, just keep up with that. And any knife or anything on his site, and I just bought a couple of knives from him uh, yesterday. 10% off, right? I use my LTK discount code. Yes, I do. Over and over again. No matter how much. No matter how big a knife or small a purchase. Whatever. And I get free shipping just like you do. Keep up with Power Cutlery. The FH81, of course. I dyed this one blue, but they're really cool. They're in green, black, tan, whatever, or gray. I mean gray, maybe tan too. But this is a cool little cleaver. Um, interesting. So, and, and you know, he's got the Ganzo knives. He's got Harns knives that we've been talking about. So does White Mountain, by the way. So check that out. Don't forget my buddy, Bevel Knife Sharpening, Kevin Lewis. I just sent him a knife to sharpen for Linus over in Sweden. Linus has got a left-handed Gemini, right? And so I sent the scales off the blades we love for him. I sent the blade off to Kevin. It's going to come back together. It's going to be a knockout, and I'll be sending it over to Gothenburg, Sweden. You know how closely they're watching the 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 protecting and sheltering in place over there don't you oh my god they, they they did nothing okay they did nothing and uh i did that i did the math the death rate's about the same 
Oh, well, uh, I'll just be glad when this is all done. And I think our government maybe could do a little bit better job preparing, putting us in a more prepared state for future potential outbreaks. That'd be nice if they would do that. You know, they never want to do spend any money on any shit until all, all hell breaks loose. But now we've been through this. I think there's a lesson that will be gleaned from all this. Because I'm sick and tired of it. Sign up. Uh, take my link down below there. If you don't have a Mass Drop account, sign up on that. Knives are coming out from Mass Drop that you might find interesting to sign up for as well. And, of course, it's a link that once you have an account, you can create your own link and send it off to your friends. And then if they buy a knife, you get a $10 credit from them. And then on and on and on. So, I, I just bought something off Mass Drop. And I had $30 worth of credit. So that was very helpful. Thank God for that. And thank you for signing up under Mass Drop, using my link, and buying a knife. And it helps. Don't forget my buddy Dave Warren. Uh, he is a hardworking dude at Tuya Knives. Uh, son in the Marine Corps. This is his job with Tuya Knives. Check out what they have. Um, they have sales here and there but ltk is a discount code there for five percent off take a look they've got you know the bruiser with the micarta scales is a hell of a buy and i've got a bruiser uh, that i use all time so it's good stuff once again remind you the sale on the 13th for my patreon guys on the 15th for the public Hopefully there's a good bunch of knives. Maybe there'll be a few flashlights in there. But I think there's going to be some interesting knives for sale there. We try and cover the gambit, you know, of, you know, fairly inexpensive knives. Maybe $25 and all up to $300. So uh, it ought to be entertaining and fun. And hopefully uh, the government sent you some money so you could stimulate LTK's economy with it. Yeah, that'd be good. And now I'm going to let you go. It's Mother's Day, and i got to make some cocktails for the little misses out on the patio. We're going to have ourselves a little Mother's Day party. And thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. And if you're going to go, you might as well go with Spider Co. Yeah. Take care. Thank you very much. Stay sharp.